You already know what it is. It's your boy Lay back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Nukes Top 5. You up to bet. Bah. Tell me I hate to fucking go. Tell me I hate to It's your boy Lay back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Appreciate time, appreciate life in 2021, man. You already know what's up. <sighs> you already see it, man. The Nukes Top 5, we back again, man. You know what I need from you. I need you to drop with you in the chat so I'll know that you with me, put with you, man. But look, we got uh, Nukes Top 5. This is five scary ghost videos that will make you say nope. Now we're gonna try to get through this. Like I said, if I get through this shit, y'all gotta be getting through this shit with me. Y'all gotta be sticking with me to the end. Y'all just can't leave me out there to dry. I'm gonna try to get through it, but y'all gotta be right there with me, man. Fire Squad, what's poppin'? Let's get it. Top five ghosts caught on camera. The Clean Water Demon House. In this next video, the YouTube ghost hunting channel Twin Paranormal travels to the Clean Water Demon House in Reno, Nevada. The mysterious okay. house was built in 1926 and has been vacant for over 30 years. Now, not much is known about the property, but local legend says that an entire family lost their lives inside the home at the hands of a drifter passing through town. What? Locals say that the decaying house is a hot spot for paranormal activity. In an earlier investigation by the popular ghost hunting team, The Haunted Side, they accidentally captured a terrifying dark figure that appeared in one of the house's windows, and then just seemed to disappear. As well. Okay, yeah, let's take this down. I don't know what it is about that staircase, but it just doesn't feel good. What was that? What? I don't think that was a shadow. But it was on the other side of that window. I didn't even realize until I reviewed the footage that I'd captured probably one of the best shadow figures I've ever seen. The Twin Paranormal team, which includes twin brothers Ryan and River, along with their friends Nick and Wyatt, capture some very chilling footage of their own at the Clean Water Demon House. As soon as they begin their investigation, they start to hear strange unexplained sounds coming from the darkness. Did you get that? Yep, got it all. The f was that? That sounded like it was upstairs. If there's anybody upstairs, make that noise again. Right here. Dude, there's walking. It's back there. Yo. Yo. They weren't joking about this place, man. Uh -huh. It seems that most of the creepy sounds seem to be coming from somewhere up above them. So Ryan asks the spirit if it wants them to go upstairs. That's when they capture this. Do you want us to come upstairs? Was that a yeah? That was a yeah. I think so. All right, I'm gonna keep this night vision camera recording down here just in case we do catch anything down here. We're gonna go upstairs, so let's go up there, see what we can catch. Man. And with that, the twin paranormal team heads upstairs to investigate. However, not long after they get upstairs, they now suddenly begin to hear odd noises back downstairs. What they didn't know at the time is that something seems to have followed them to the second floor. You said that you heard stuff down there? What? Yeah, the walking outside was super loud down here. I didn't see anything when I looked outside. Did you see it? A small dark figure yeah, about the, the size of a young that? child seems to creep up the stairs right behind them. What happens next is truly bizarre. You filming? Get a battery right now. Holy oh, crap. Right now, get a battery. Some large unknown glass object is thrown across the room and crashes, sending the terrified team members running back down the stairs. Later, they try to investigate the source of the loud crash, but 
They just can't find anything. Back downstairs now, the ghost hunters ask the spirit questions using a modified spirit box. They get some very creepy answers, but something even creepier seems to be there with them, lurking in the darkness. Do you need our help? Thank you. Did you see it? Some odd white mist can be seen moving toward the guys briefly. Then it seems to retreat back into the shadows. Bro, what? The Do you need fuck? our help? Thank you. You can check out the full series of investigations of the Clean Water Demon House over on Twin Paranormal's YouTube channel. They have just recently posted an all new part 4 of this series, with even more scary unexplained activity. The Last Hell Patient God. TikTok user Noah works as a security guard at an abandoned hospital that will soon be demolished. His job there is to guard against trespassers who might want to steal the remaining hospital equipment that has not yet been removed. He claims that often while working the night shift, some strange and downright spooky things happen. So when an alarm goes off one night inside the hospital, he records as he investigates the source of the sound. Fuck that. All right, besides that alarm, I just heard some more sounds. I don't know what it is, man, but this place is creepy. A hospital bed seems to move on its own, and Noah really just wants to leave. But he can't abandon his guard duty. Man, fuck. Later that same night, he hears more noises and goes to check again, making sure that all of the hospital rooms are empty. Then this happens. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and look over here, checking the rooms and. <laughs> Dude, fuck this shit, honestly, like. As Noah is about to go into one of the dark rooms, he hears the sound of a hospital meal tray crash into something in the hallway. Dude, this shit, honestly, like. So two weeks go by and nothing much happens. But then one night, Noah starts to hear strange sounds again. This time he records something downright terrifying. All right, guys, I'm at the empty floors. I was hearing some noise coming up right now. It's kind of freaking me out, so I'm gonna be filming a little bit. Seeing some. Shit. What the? F what the? F oh hell! Did no. you see it? As Noah is walking down the hallway, checking each room, he captures a terrifying dark figure just standing at a window inside one of the hospital rooms. Seconds later, Noah turns back to look into the room. And nothing there. So did Noah capture a ghost on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Hide and seek. Popular paranormal explorer and YouTuber Ricky Velasquez returns to the mysterious and long abandoned log cabin in Catamaco, Mexico. The cabin seems to be actively haunted by the ghost of a woman and child. In a previous video that I featured on this channel, he captured some terrifying evidence on his live stream that shocked his viewers. Ricky. Hi, Ricky, Ricky. Ricky, no, Ricky. Ricky. Using a Kinect camera in infrared mode, he captured what looks like the figures of a woman and child. They seem to stare at Ricky from the darkness before simply disappearing into thin air. After many requests from viewers, he returns to the decaying log cabin to find out more about the strange apparitions. This time he is joined by his friend and fellow paranormal investigator Haguar. Soon after starting the live stream, Ricky sees something that sends them both running. Fuck. Okay. Porque las energías tanto se pueden llegar a tu persona. Sí. Porque tú. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Come on. Aquí. 
Did you see it? A small shadowy figure the size of a child walks into frame and then quickly runs away and out of sight. What the fuck? Hey, 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 Ricky and Hagwar run after the figure and check the cabin, but they don't find anyone. As they head upstairs to investigate and are maneuvering their way around the missing ceiling, Ricky gets confirmation that they are not alone. Hola. Qué lugar, eh? Cuidado. ¿Qué fue eso? Por allá anda el niño, eh? Ricky and Hagwar are unable to make out where the voice is coming from. At this point, Ricky asks the spirit to show itself. And it does. Niño, algún espíritu, alma, demonio que se encuentra en este lugar, manifiéstate. What? That little motherfucker. That little motherfucker jetted the car. A child quickly runs from right to left, right in front of Ricky. Strangely enough, Ricky doesn't even seem to notice the child. He only finds out about the strange appearance when he reads his live stream comments and sees that his viewers in live chat are trying to warn him. Pasó corriendo, pasó corriendo. Pasó frente a mí. No. ¿Tuviste algo? What? A pale hand violently scratches the back of Hagwar's neck. Up until now, Hagwar has always kept his cool, but even he is a bit rattled by the sudden attack. What the Ricky fuck? and Hagwar both decide to just end the live stream investigation and leave the creepy cabin. So, did Ricky once again capture the ghost of a child on camera? Or is it something else entirely? You can check out this full video with English subtitles over on Ricky Velasquez's YouTube channel. He never left. Cassie B from the YouTube channel B Paranormal says that her son tragically passed away at the very Bro, what the fuck? Young age of 18. Since then, she says that she believes that his ghost might haunt their house. After hearing strange sounds in her house for weeks, Cassie sets up a CCTV camera to record in her living room. One night, she catches this. Now the dog apparently sleeps here all the time and never tumbles off the couch arm like this. Cassie believes that he was pushed, but obviously this might just be a silly doggy accidentally falling off the couch. But the next night, something happens that is quite a bit harder to explain. Someone seems to be looking into the house from an outside window slowly clawing at the glass. Then as the camera's night vision turns off, the person seems to disappear. Even stranger, as the light inside the house turns on, the figure at the window not only disappears, but actually seems to reappear inside the room. What? So what do you think this is? Could this be Cassie's son returning home? Is it simply a trick of the light? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. 
reaching out from the other side. Over on the Taiwanese Ghost Hunting Channel 01 Supernatural Studio, paranormal investigator Seime is exploring an abandoned karaoke club that was partially destroyed in a fire. Now, this club was a bit rougher than what you might think of when you think of karaoke in the Western world. It was divided into many semi-private rooms where people could do pretty much whatever they wanted. As a result, several people lost their lives due to violence and overdoses. And Seme says that some club goers perished in the sudden fire that caused the club to be closed down. Right. Now, Seme has heard creepy stories about this place. He is all alone and already a bit nervous as he starts his investigation. He says that a friend of his had attempted to explore the club only weeks earlier, but had ended up running out in terror after he heard an unexplained voice followed by mysterious knocking from inside the restroom door. Seme decides to test out his friend's story. He knocks on the same door to see if he can provoke some supernatural reaction. But at first, nothing really happens. Hazel,他走过来之后,他看到这个镜子,这个化妆师,他觉得后面有一个人站着,然后他真的很怀疑说那个敲门声是就从这个地方传来的。那我现在试着敲门看看。乌朗第一个,乌朗威威给我一些回
man, this shit is crazy, man. Like I said, if I'm getting through this, man, y'all gotta get through it with me. Y'all just can't be leaving me out here, man. We in this together, man. But you already know what you gotta do, man. Self-love and positivity. Till next time, Fire Squad, I got you and you know it. Hey!